Harsh play you come down to genius in a way, not only in the musical sense, his affections and his actions and his understanding for people. He is he's a public figure and he has to go around the world meeting thousands of people. He has to be a little bit on the defensive. But I think it was very, very kind because I didn't realize then, but now I realize that it's a lot of people trying to get crowds into his private world. And I, I was a little bit conscious of that and I, I didn't sort of push myself into it. Jose Romanios is now a successful and highly respected guitar maker. His workshop adjoins the house in a stable that Bream has converted for him. Jose met Bream almost by accident. At the time, Jose was a carpenter restoring, as it's called, old London pubs. It used to upset me because I remember in Fulham, there was an old Victorian public house, beautiful, holding gorgeous mahogany, and we ricked it all down to put some this uh, new Formica things, which really wasn't quite the same thing. And actually, some of the timbers from that countertop and that public house, I used it for my first ever guitar. And um, Julian saw it, and he asked me if I was going to make some more. He looked it over, and I think he sort of played a couple of chords, and um, he must have seen something which he aroused his interest. Jose himself cannot even play the guitar, but he has no need to when he has Julian Bream's expertise readily available to advise and to keep a watchful eye at every stage. Hello, right, Jose. Hello, Julian. How's the new pops getting along? Oh, OK. <coughs> Just try it. Yeah. I just put it, well, I stung it last night, actually. You did? I had to try and tune it up a little bit. Is it holding its pitch all right? Mm, yes, I think it takes yeah. a while have a, to say. Have a go. I'd like to... Yeah. Uh, got a tuning for me. Yeah. Very nice quality, I'll say, on the top. Mm. What's the bass line? It's, it's, it's nice and meaty, I think. Mean. Yeah, the methods that I use now, they're very similar as I used before. But I'm rather old fashioned in a way that I like to use my hand tools. To work with timber is a tremendous medium. And I draw action from using the hand tools in opposition to machines. <laughs> And in the last few years, I managed to visit forests in Switzerland. And in that particular forest, they know just about every tree. And uh, even from the same tree, um, it depends on where you cut the timber to get the maximum strength, elasticity, and quality. And then, and then you start physically putting the guitar together. Because they are timber, the guitar is when you put it to the test. I think the top string's a bit. Bream has gained much in return. Yeah. 